<laughs> and are you ready? We're going to go live before we start that. Yeah. All right. Good. We're on. All right. Here we go. There we go. All uh, right. Woo. I'm going to refresh so I can see the chat as it starts to uh, go. I don't know how sure. that works. Oh, <laughs> here we are in our funny faces. That's right. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, yeah, did you tweet it out? I did not tweet it out. I thought that, well, that's what Hello. I thought you were doing. Hello. Hi. <laughs> there we go. Uh oh, what? I <laughs> said, uh oh. I don't know. I thought you said, uh oh. -uh. Like, no, no. No. Um, Do your Metallica no, no, no. No, no, no. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready. <laughs> getting ready to record. I gave the dogs their, their biscuits. Uh huh. We're good. Uh, hey, we're good. Tyler. Uh, we're, we're all getting set here to start. Um, let's see. I gave the dogs their biscuits. I don't see Tyler. No, I do. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there you go. Maybe mine's <laughs> a little faster because I'm doing it on the yes. actual thing. Yes. Mine's faster, so I am slower. I don't know what that means. So, uh, yeah. We're, I don't know why I keep looking. We are going to get ready to record the podcast. <laughs> we'll not be super interactive all the time in the chat right. just because those of you who know the podcast know we just kind of talk to each other and that's it. <laughs> But we'll try and keep it as uh, right. as much as we can and say hello and all that stuff. Right. Um, so welcome and thank you. And if you check it out, this screen here is actually the recording software for the podcast, which is, oh, Look doc, at Dr. C is in. <laughs> hey, Doc. Hey, Colleen. How's That's it going? Awesome. Uh, Robert Games HD is in. Okay, cool. <laughs> so please don't be offended if we don't shout out everybody's name during the podcast because... That'd be crazy. <laughs> we'll try. We'll do. We'll do something. <laughs> oh, right on. Hello from the UK again. I love and it. Effie was uh, the first. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I have hi. to talk about that. I got to make a note of that. I, oh, here his pen. All right, thanks. About the. See teamwork up in here. UK <laughs> live stream. All right, everybody. We want to get you on sometime, Colleen. I meant to talk to you about that. We'll yeah, talk, we'll talk off pod. And then, hey Brian, and then, um, yeah, hey, and and then Colleen, you get to be part of the live stream. I mean, how what? much fun is that? Let me play with my double chin here for a second. It itches. <laughs> All right, are you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, here we go, everybody. You guys won't hear the intro music, but that's okay. <laughs> 212. Oh, it's loud. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 212. I am Neil. I am Annalise. How are you? What were you looking at? 212. <laughs> uh, is it? Is it 212? Yes, it is. But cool. we always we always know beforehand, and then whenever you say it, we always second guess ourselves because that's how we roll. Okay, second guess. I got to start by saying hello, Kitty. I know, there's Kitty. Uh, so <laughs> some of the things that have changed in the podcast uh, for those of you who listened last week, cool. It might sound a little different because we are actually live streaming the podcast now too. So if you want to be part of it, we're going to live stream it every week from now on. Uh, you can go to our YouTube channel and hop in. We're not super interactive on the uh, the chat just because we get rolling and talking. But however, it seems like the chat kind of takes care of itself and they all talk to each other and then yell at us later, which is a lot of fun. So that's a little bit different. So if it sounds a little different, that's one reason. But for new people, right. welcome to our podcast. Uh, it's about us talking about <laughs> ourselves because we think we're that important. That's what we do. It's us talking about us. That's it. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> so <That's right. laughs> uh, we have some stuff to talk about. Did you write the weather down? No, I didn't. I'll okay. go get it. Okay. I'll go. I'll yell it from in there and then you can say. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and it is your turn. Damn it. Yeah. To do the weather. We really need to get that soundboard because I don't want to do it. <laughs> I think here doesn't. Can we, Well, if we have the computers up, we can probably use that for the soundboard. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't. Anyway. Well, we'll have that, so. that'll have to be another episode. Yeah. They don't want to watch us figure that out. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> oh, Michelle's in. Oh, hi. My sister-in-law's in. Hi, yeah. Michelle. Everybody say hi to Michelle. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you can make it. Hi. Also, um, yesterday was my little brother's 40th birthday. I'm sure he would love for me to say that on the internet. Happy birthday, happy Michael. Happy birthday. Are you going to sing him happy birthday? <laughs> Happy, 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 happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. No, that make it weird. Why do you make it weird? You. Why do you make it weird? Happy birthday. <laughs> Do you? Uh, <laughs> um, That's Michelle. We whoa. <laughs> we want to start off by saying last night we had our first live stream guest spot with Pusha Studios, mm -hmm. and that was a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. It was like doing a guest spot as a podcaster, but with video, knowing <laughs> that other people were looking at my goofy face. Yes. 
and my lovely haircut. Awesome and weird all at the same time. Yeah, it was bizarre. <laughs> I'm going to have some beer. You do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, it was it was a good time. So we want to thank them. Uh, we're actually going to have them as guests on the podcast, Yeah, which will be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll do that hopefully sooner rather than later. But it was a good time. It was weird. I was a little nervous because it's weird knowing that it's going to be on video and it's a whole different format, right. even though we've done it so many times podcasting. And as we talked about before, like whenever I know I'm being recorded, I start doing these weird like facial tick things and and then I like try to like sit still and then I don't breathe. And then so it's a whole weird thing. Like I think it went okay, but like whenever like... <laughs> I'm just so self-conscious. <laughs> it was fun. It was a good time. But we had a lot of fun, and we ended up actually, and we were having so much fun that we actually ended up staying on a little bit longer than we intended to because. Because that's you know, what we do. So we were just, that's how we roll. But um, yeah, it was really cool. And um, lots of firsts this week. <laughs> yeah. Same week That's for me. true. <laughs> that's true. So. It is so weird because I know, I mean, obviously when we do the podcast, so <laughs> we don't edit and we just kind of talk and we do whatever and it feels so natural. But now knowing that it's live on YouTube, it feels so unnatural all of a sudden. It's weird. It's like, it doesn't feel right. the same, which is totally cool, but it feels a little, little yeah. interesting. <laughs> it feels weird. It feels, it feels weird. a little different. Right. So. And I think that the added uh, video and chat room is something uh, new and like going to spice up our podcast and all of that. But like it's different because our pod, since our podcast is all about us, we talk to each other. And so it's like integrating others into the podcast isn't necessarily um, intuitive because it's about us as a couple. Right. So. <laughs> Right. And it's not, it's, we're inviting you in to this relationship. Yeah. And at the same thing too, it's, you know, as people check it out, I think it's going to have like the novelty of new, like, Oh, cool. But the nice thing about podcasts is that you can listen to them whenever you want and stop right. them and start again. So I think the, I don't, I don't think it's going to be one of those things where a ton of people are always going to go like, right. Oh my God, let's go watch this live. Cause they're just right. talking to each we'll other. Just end up with a few people that show up weekly or I, right. I think it'll be, in. it'll be fun when somebody's <laughs> like, Oh, I'm going to go on there and give those guys a hard time. Right. You know, stuff as like well that. as it's not going to be the same time every week. Cause uh, typically we try to do Friday nights, but we're just not always able to do Friday nights. So sometimes we do Saturdays right? and in a rare occasion, we do a Sunday coffee morning right. <laughs> podcast. So anyway, that's uh, all for the, uh, new uh, listeners and new people who watch us live like that. Yeah, um, I did. Uh, since we were talking about last night in the live, uh, TriStar Travelers mm -hmm. has got an amazing YouTube channel. Uh, I was saying uh, I was dying not being able to respond to you on the way home last night because you're all great. <laughs> it is weird because I was talking about that last night mm -hmm. too, and I do it with other podcasts all the right. time. Especially I talk to podcasts when I'm in the car all the time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's a there's a YouTuber. I think his name's Ray Hayden. If I got that right, mm -hmm. I, th I think so. I apologize if I got the name wrong, but he's one of the few podcasters I always talk to. It's always just him, and he's giving advice and talking about stuff and. I really like his personality. And I'm always talking back to the screen. And finally, I told him, I'm like, this is going to sound really weird. I, I mean, yeah, I threw it, but you're one of the few people that we like. We have whole conversations. You and me, we have conversations. Yeah, and, you're not there for it, right, but we do. <laughs> right. But yeah. So, so thank you for the compliment. Last night was a blast. We had a good time. That's too so, uh, <laughs> kind of staying on the, oh, also we hit our 1000 subscribers on YouTube. Yes. Thank you thank so you much. We know so, so many people much. helped us out from so the much. podcast so people, like, community, the country, like over a thousand people. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly. Exactly. Over a thousand people helped us out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know so many people from the, the podcast, uh, gave us that initial boost to get us to like five and 600. And that was freaking amazing. Yeah. And then we want to also thank all the people that we've met through YouTube and other YouTubers and creators that have really helped us out. It means a lot. Uh, we're very happy. Obviously, we're going to keep going, but it was nice to hit that milestone. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> and you all rock. Yeah. That being said, talking a little bit, I got a little bit more about the vlog and then we'll get on to it. Yeah. I thought it was funny because uh, one of the videos we've wanted to do is I, I my mountain bike needed... Okay, let me back up. Back it up. I'm a little bit of an idiot. And so I was having problems <laughs> with the rear disc hydraulic brakes on my mountain bike. <laughs> and of course, instead of of like <gasps> taking my time and, and checking what was going on, I just decided that I was going to remove some brake fluid from them. Mm -hmm. 
because I thought that would help the brake lever situation. Well, it, it didn't. That was not the issue. So it collapsed the brake lever, so I had no more rear brakes. So no big deal. I just had to put more brake fluid into the rear brakes, and I could go on my way. But that happened right as we were starting to vlog. Mm -hmm. So I thought, oh, this would make a really also, fun video. And then um, winter started. <laughs> right. But I still, I mean, that doesn't, yeah. I ride in winter. But I thought that this would make a fun video. So I ordered the kit and everything happened. I haven't been riding. The bike's just been sitting there. And then today we finally had the time and we're like, okay, let's, let's get the brakes done so I can ride and we can make right. this video. So take the car out of the garage and get the garage all set up and mm -hmm. freaking move this. And we're trying to put backdrops so it doesn't look ridiculous and lights and cameras and brick, <laughs> clean the, the bike and all this garbage. <laughs> right. And then we get the brake stuff and we're like, cool. And you help me out. We have cameras and we do it. And then we're, we get done doing it. And we're, we looked at each other and it was like, that was probably the lamest thing <laughs> we've ever done. No one's ever going to watch that video. It's not, it's not good enough to be like a how-to because this was my first time doing it on this brake set. I haven't right. bled brakes for freaking years. I don't so, even know. I don't even know what you're talking about. Like when you were talking about it, I'm like, I have no idea what's happening yeah, right now. <laughs> it, it, wasn't, it wasn't good enough to be like a how-to where people that are like, oh, I want to bleed my brakes. I'm going to check it out. Would look at it and go like, oh, this is how you do it because I was kind of figuring it out. But it also wasn't funny enough or our personalities enough to be like a video where you're like, oh, my God, look at them having fun. It was like, right. oh, so all that time that I've been waiting to do this, all the time that I spent today getting the garage ready, just no garbage. <laughs> and then but the garage looks nice and the brake, the bike is done <laughs> and you got your bike. done. Yeah. So, not so I'm really loss, happy. No, no. But it was but we funny. didn't get a video. I'm like, oh, my God. Ridiculous. <laughs> just crazy. But the bike is uh, good to go now. I'm all set. I'm happy so. about that. Adrian. Hey, Adrian's on. What the heck? Hi. Hi, Adrian. Oh, and thanks, Colleen. <laughs> oh, the oh, dogs the, are barking. Dogs are barking. So that, um, which is normal. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, our dogs yeah. are always barking. They're part of the show. They're going to be in here. And right before we started recording, the next neighbor had the blower going, and um, that's just, just the thing. Tends to do that. That's, you know what I kind of like about being able to see the video is I can see the kind of like the back of my hair. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Like, I, you know what? I, I should do, cut my hair in here. No, I do though. And I see what's going yeah, on. But I do that weird thing where, like, I see myself on video, and instead of like judging if it's a good video, if I'm doing a good job as like a presenter or a host, I'm like thinking, "Is that what my hair looks like? <laughs> is that what my hair looks like from the back? Yeah. Why does no one tell me that? That's terrible. God, my hair is really frizzy. I'm like, I literally dissect the whole thing, and then I was like, oh, I should probably watch this video. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like when we, when you like do editing and stuff and you're like, Hey, check this video out. What do you think about this, this edit or whatever? I spend the first. Oh, like, I know. And, and then I'm just like staring at my face and like, what is my face doing? What does my hair look like? And then you're like, pay attention. I'm I've, like, yes, I've learned yes, not yes, to yes, take yes, it yes, personal yes. because sometimes like something will happen. Like I'll say something that's pretty funny. I mean, objectively right. funny and you're just <laughs> staring and I'm like, look, I know I'm not super funny. But that was pretty good. At least a chuckle. Pay attention least, to be damaged. Yeah. And then I'm like, you know, is the video okay? And you're like, you're like, yeah, but but what's going on with my hair? My hair's really frizzy. And I'm like, oh my God. Pay more attention to me. We think about the lighting in this yeah. scene here. I don't know, but have you seen my hair? Is usually what I'm thinking. Which is a fair enough thing. Fair enough thing to think. And I'm always asking, like, how much of me is in this video? Like, chest up, legs up, like, I need to know for outfit purposes. Like, can I be wearing pajamas from the waist down? Like, what are we talking? <laughs> that's a new that's a new conversation we have to have on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah. Where, how, where is the camera going to be? Yeah, exactly. How much of me is in this? <laughs> uh, we had a crazy rainy yes. Friday. Friday. We got. And overnight, I guess. We got five inches of rain in like 24 hours. It was crazy. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> well, keep it. that just kind of leads us into weather, doesn't it? Oh. So we talk about the weather a lot for those of you who don't know. And it's so oh, funny because we're doing Alex. we're doing the the podcast <laughs> like it's all new people simply for the people on YouTube that right. are first timers. Right, right. Which is really funny because we've we, done it for four years. I know. So everyone else is like, just, you guys like, yeah, now sound like idiots. We know you talk idiots. about the weather. Yeah. We know you do. It's kind of your thing. Uh, I don't have the weather report with me, so I'm going to say this. It's warm and muggy <laughs> and overcast today in Napa Valley. Yeah. And it rained for 24 my, hours, my, five my, inches. My hair is frizzy. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Michelle was saying, hey, you look great. It's humid lately. Love your plaid shirt too. Thank you. Have you been, again, this is kind of, have you been to Rant Jam's channel? I have not. It's funny. Rant Jam's, hi. Yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everybody stopping by. Yeah, very much appreciated. I was just telling Kitty in the chat that I'm drinking uh, the beer I recommended, Kitty. <laughs> Which is what, oh, <laughs> the Bud Light Platinum? Platinum? Yeah. Oh, it's very sweet. It is very sweet. And I do love craft beer, but I also like cheap beer. And uh, Neil's drinking a Lagunitas uh, something, something. Little something, something, I believe. Yeah. Hi, girl. Hi. Also, there's a dog nine. Yeah, you can, can see, see her face a little head, bit. maybe. Hi, girl. <laughs> All right. What do you got? Um, I would like to talk to you about um, our TV shows. Okay. And uh, that... So we've been like on this whole marathon thing with doing like a whole bunch of BBC shows, a whole bunch of detective shows, and I'm super jazzed. Okay. Super jazzed for two things. Two things. New Death in Paradise. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to watch it, but I'm also thinking that I'm in this weird place where I like want to save it. Like I don't want to waste it. Like I kind of just want to marathon it and watch the whole thing, but then I want to savor it. And like, do you save the last episode? So you have, well, you know me, right? So you don't have the cliffhanger. Neil always does that. If you guys don't know, Neil always saves the, the cliffhanger episode. The last two episodes. The next season comes out because he wants to watch them back to back. Yeah. Cause he doesn't want that stupid cliffhanger. God damn it. Right. <laughs> but, um, so we love that show death in paradise and they just came out with new episodes on Netflix. And so we haven't watched any yet, but we really, really want to. And I guess I just, I don't know what to do. Like, do we watch it now? Do we save it? What are we doing? I don't know. I think we just watch it now. Yeah. It's just what you do now. Just because it makes me so happy. So I really want to watch it on nights that I'm like, in, do you watch on nights when you're in a good mood? Cause you're already happy. Or do you watch it on nights that you come home and you're tired and you're a little bit crabby. So it cheers you up. Like we don't have that many episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we don't have as many episodes as the nights that you come home tired and grabbing. <laughs> right. So let's just get over you that. You might just right want to watch it then when you want. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to fix that for you. <laughs> Sorry. However, a close okay. second would be like that okay. live stream that I was just on mm -hmm. with everybody from uh, the UK. The UK. Right. It was freaking awesome. Was that Eagle VP that was just yeah. doing the live stream? And yeah, there's a whole bunch of other British. I uh, felt like I was America. watching a BBC show. <laughs> It was awesome. It was so surreal. I'm like, what is that going on right backup, now? I suppose I could be a backup. I can talk to these people right now. <laughs> um, I was going to say um, my second thing about TV shows is that I have discovered a YouTube channel and it's called um, Cornish Walking Trails. Mm -hmm. And it's this couple that literally walk, goes around uh, With the, Cornish the game UK head. <laughs> and does these walking trails and kind of films part of the trail and talks about the trail and things like that. And it's really fun to watch. And it, it's they're not like super long videos, somewhere between like 10 and 20 minutes or something like that. But they have a whole bunch of videos where they go to um, locations that that BBC show Doc Martin mm -hmm. was filmed at. Mm -hmm. And you know how much I love that show. Yes. And they haven't come out with new episodes on And you know Netflix how much yet. I love Doc Martin. You, <laughs> right. You haven't seen the show, but I have. And you know that I, I saw a show. couple. Yeah. But um, so I've seen all like the six seasons that are available on the Netflix on the Netflix. Maybe. Right. But now I've discovered that they have like four or five videos where they go to locations. And now I'm, I'm totally obsessed. Like I've watched those like a couple of times each. <laughs> nice. And I'm just like, ah, oh, Doug Martin. <laughs> so it's kind of that's kind of been my fix lately. So um, if you're into that sort of thing, you should check it out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the Urban Stealth Camper Van Man. Who's in the chat room right now? Hello. Uh, it said UK here. He said hello. So hello. Oh, nice. Sorry, we didn't say hello. UK, earlier, you're nice. Yes. There was someone else from the UK. Um, I need to go up there. Also, uh, the funny, I've mentioned this before, but I thought it was really funny Gary. watching so many freaking BBC shows that I've started drinking more tea, like just yes. through osmosis. Yes. That's and funny. it's great because I love tea, which isn't a weird thing. But it's just bizarre that how all of a sudden, and even at night, like after dinner and stuff, I'd go make like yeah. a nice chamomile tea. Yeah, you do. Chamomile. And you've been doing that when you've been um, podcasting with your other podcasts. Reasons are several. Here's your chance to pimp your shit. Uh, yeah, I'm part <laughs> of a. I'm I'm the awesome part of a of a of a podcast called Reasons Are Several. Also, which might end up on this channel as a live stream. Also on Tuesdays. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do it. Yeah, Matt and I are talking about it. Awesome. We might start it do in it, May. Do it, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, Aww. just for fun. Why not? Yeah, 
sure. I mean, and we have a good, we have that kind of show where we can spend more time in the chat because mm -hmm. we don't really like each other. So we can talk to <laughs> stuff. Well, it's not just about you guys. By, this, this episode is about us. <laughs> by the way, uh, another cool thing is Matt is sending me uh, more shoes. Yeah. I got three, we gotta talk, Matt. We three gotta talk. more pair of Nikes coming. <laughs> Two Did more pair of Air Force Ones. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You saw him. You I know. Saw the I one. know. It's hilarious. I'm excited. Um, did you tell Matt that we tried to figure out the shoes that I wanted and the shoes I w wanted are no longer made? Honey, if it makes you feel any better, when we had that conversation, I was still looking at my shoes. So I was, why, I wasn't going to. What would that make me feel better? I'm like, what? What? what how? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. So don't worry about it. I'll get another pair of shoes and that'll count as your shoes. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> I also told Matt to send me some uh, so athleisure track suits, but I don't know if he's so you actually guys going can go to go out and like match each other, matchy matchy time. Oh no, we'd have to be like if I wear white, he's got to wear black. I know if that I wear green, he has to wear some red. Talk about you guys meeting for matching a tattoos. weekend in like Reno or something. Are you guys just gonna wear your matching outfits there? You could. Everyone's gonna have to just think you're a couple, but. I'm going to I'm gonna wear a <laughs> shirt that says I'm the muffin, and then he's going to wear a shirt that says I'm the stud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ultra Gamer, Michael <laughs> Michael Furberger. I just like saying Michael Furberger. That is awesome. Uh, I wonder if Matt's. I'm enjoying this having chat people in the chat. I don't know. Matt's gonna insist on being the stud part of that muffin. <laughs> okay, he can be. I'm the stud. Yeah, I'm the stud. I'm the muffin. I'm the muffin. <laughs> now I'm claiming Muffinville. I'm the muffin. <laughs> I was just trying to talk about my shoes. <laughs> I'm the muffin. Okay. Well, yeah. So did you find a pair of shoes? No, I have not. Well, let's go later on Nike.com and check yeah. it out because I'm sure I can find more shoes. <laughs> not going to be an issue. Maybe this time, well, I'd only have like one beer before we go to Nike.com. We'll just get one pair of shoes. <laughs> Fracking Cat Kitte was talking about uh, Raising Hope. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great show. It was Love a bummer that, that it ended. Yeah. I really liked in that show how the one guy every now and then would pull out one of his Deadwood characters. <laughs> like when he got hit on the head, yes. he started doing yes. the. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. That's funny. So it's such a great show. I'm so it, sad it's over. It was. We never saw the last season. I know because, because we did, it we was did over. the same thing Kat did. Yeah, we didn't want to see over. the end. <laughs> Forget it. Not gonna watch it. Not gonna watch it. That's the that's the thing with Neil. If he's like, if that show's been canceled, then we don't have to watch it. It's one of the many things with Neil. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Bye oh, TriStar. Thanks for dropping in. We very you. much appreciate it. appreciate it. You rock. Rock and roll. Um, what's I gonna tell you? I don't know. Okay. Um, do you want to talk about my mom's home. Our, oh yeah, let's talk about your mom. Mom's back that from Argentina. Absolutely nowhere near. I was going to talk about. after <laughs> after being gone for a month. Was it a month? Three weeks? No, it was a month. Really? Mm -hmm. It didn't seem that long. It did it to seemed, me. It seemed less long for me. Less long this time than last time. Is that a thing? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And we didn't see your dad this time, which is really weird. No, I did. Well, I don't yeah. think you even called him or texted him. I this don't time. think I did. I? No. 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 Like he let me know. Right. Did he tell you yeah. all about it? He said, he said, how is Annalise? I haven't heard from her. <laughs> and I'm like, she, I said, why don't you give her a call and, and you know, you can go out there for lunch or something. Right. She, he said, no, she's probably busy because otherwise I would have heard from her. And I'm like, good point. Fair enough. <laughs> Can't argue funny, with that. Because the last time I talked to him, I was said, anytime, just call me. You come out yeah. that day. And he's yeah. like, okay. But you have did. to be nice to your elders. You have to reach out to them. You can't just <laughs> expect them to contact you. I guess I just expect him to, since I said it's okay to call me like the day of even, mm -hmm. and he could just come right on down the street for lunch because he just lives right on down the street, that he would do that. But he never did. And he never does. No, he won't. You have to invite him. Like I said, he's old. He has the ultimate invitation at any time. All right. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I mean, neither. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have a dog down here. All right. Our little dog Zero is down here. I'm petting him. And um, a few people have asked me how he's doing. And he is doing great. His he, he butt was is back to normal. Sick, And then he had a sore butt. And then we had to put Desitin on his butt. And so I apologize for that. Bringing that situation up. But that's what happened. <laughs> Hello, Sandy. And welcome to the chaos. It is Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. And Traveling Memories. Hi. Oh, wow. Hello. I didn't see that. <laughs> Um, we're talking about our dog's butt. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't know if you know the podcast, it's going to get much worse. So that's not all we're going to talk about. <laughs> uh, yeah. So his butt's good, solid, back to normal. He's got a normal butt. <laughs> Why are both dogs over here? <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Maybe you smell like food. 
<laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I might always smell like food. Might. Oh, Zero's getting his toy. Bye, buddy. <laughs> speaking of food, um, I did a two day cleanse this week. Uh huh. I did break down on my second day and have some vegetables for dinner. Mm -hmm. But um, overall, it went really well. And I haven't done a cleanse in like a year. So pretty good. Nice. I'm trying to kick start some um, healthier uh, choices. Yeah. Is that the word? Yeah. <laughs> Is that well, the right I, way to look at it? I, do, I don't know. I do think that it helps you out too when I don't eat meat and I eat healthier since I cook. Yeah. So then you're, you're kind of like, well, I, what are you having? And then I tell you what I'm having. I'm like, and then it's funny because you're like, I'm really not in the mood for that. And then I start cooking and you're like, yeah, I guess I'll have that too. Right. So, well, and that's why when we go to the grocery store now, we're like, what are you going to have? I don't know. What are you going to have? So now I'm just having salad. <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, it's easy because it's like, I'm going to get a lot of vegetables and then right. eat them all week. Right. I mean, I don't mind having salad for most meals. That doesn't actually bother me. I just can't always have the same salad. Yeah. Well, I don't. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you're always making me have the same salad. I'm just saying that. I can't always have the same salad because I don't just don't like eating the same thing all the time. Right. So I know I don't. Yeah, I would imagine. Well, I don't know <laughs> if it was pizza and donuts, I could probably do it. Traveling memory says, um, hello guys. It's my first time on your podcast. Well, that's good. And also <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we get, we are very honest and very open. We do get personal and a little bit uh, crazy sometimes. We just talked about our is, dog's butt. So there's that. But there was a problem with it. We had to go right. to the vet for and his now butt. It's fine. Got to, had to get his butt fixed. <clears throat> Speaking of dog's butt yeah. and worrying about dog's butt, mm -hmm. we are supposed to go away to Reno next weekend and we're a little bit concerned about Don't worry, we'll away. vlog about it. Oh, we're going to vlog the whole <laughs> thing, you guys. It's going to get weird. <laughs> we're going to be chin chilling. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's, uh, I, yeah, I mean, you know, the dog got sick last time we went away and now we're a little nervous. We're about a little nervous going about away. going again. So, well, he didn't get sick when we went away. He got sick when we got back. Yeah. Well, he obviously was sick when he came home. So he got the, sick the day we came home. Yeah. So does that make sense? Did yes. That right? okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we picked him up when he was sick. So anyway. no, no, I'm not sure he was sick when we picked him up. I think he just got sick when we got, I mean, or his started showing. I think it was incubating. <laughs> well, that's not how that works. Okay. That's the thing. Henceforth, the acute. Right. Yeah. There was no incubation. <laughs> There's no, We've made this there's so no gross, incubating so. in his butt. Look, oh God, I got a Doberman tail. Oh, she won't give it to me. <laughs> so gross. That's, oh, right. oh my God. Okay. There you go. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Um, You're right. At least he did get his butt fixed. Yeah, says Sandy. that's true. Thank you. We appreciate that. His, his butt is fixed now. Thank you. Um, Nathan's you in the house. Any scratching. Nathan. Nathan. Likes drums. <laughs> um, you guys hear any scratching? That's uh, our dog. Honey dying, bunches. Everybody knows. I know. If anybody I, hears I just noise, always it's feel the like dog. I have to say. That weird noise in the background is always the dog. She's not making a nest. She's making a nice bordelais. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Do I think know I meant board. I, I think know. I wanted to say. I don't know. I think I meant to say chinchilla. No. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Um, I want to talk about our spaz rat and our fat mouse. Oh. That should be our new podcast. Spaz, spaz rat, rat and fat, and fat mouse. mouse. <laughs> I think that's what <laughs> that's, that's what Matt album. <laughs> that's what Matt and I should change uh, reasons or several to Spaz Rat and Fat Mouse. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that, maybe that's the name of the episode. That is the situation that's going on right here. here you you know what the situation is? My parents went away on a week's vacation. <laughs> that's a situation. <laughs> so we have a fat mouse that lives in our garage, and we haven't really seen him lately, and we just know he's there. And we've hidden all the food and all of that. We've talked about it, but we call him a fat mouse because he's very, very overweight. <laughs> and when he runs he's across slow. <laughs> when he runs across the garage floor, he's super, super slow and he doesn't run very fast because he's so right. he just kind of waddles by you. So it's not even like it, you know, when you see a little mouse and it darts and it kind of yeah. startles you. This one doesn't. You're like, what is that? Oh, it's a chubby mouse. It's waddling across <laughs> the floor. And it makes you not want to hurt him. Like we put out a couple of traps and things like that. And he managed to not ever set off any of the traps. I think and he's so big that when he sets them off, they like close on him. And he's like, no, he's like, ugh. <laughs> this lifts it off of him. He's like, Ugh. oh, you guys. Yeah. So but we, yeah, we put all the, cause he was getting, everyone was getting to the dog food. So we put the dog food away and then I don't, so I don't know. No, it wasn't dog. It was the treats. The dog treats. Cause we had like their treat balls. Mm -hmm. their, and, and their treat bags and their treat bags just out there all their, the dog food is all in 
enclosed buckets and all that. Right. But they were actually getting up the baker's racks in the garage mm -hmm. and like going into the treat bags and taking out the food. Right. And I thought with the dogs and the cat, we're not going to ever have, have a mouse problem. Right. However, one of our neighbors has a mouse and rat problem. So I think they're, they're like, oh, the Eaton's good over here. Apparent because Chunky Mousy right. is freaking living it up. Right. As well as the dogs and the cat don't really go in the garage very much. So they don't yeah. really have a but lot of competition when, or things to be fearful of in there. When uh, the next door <laughs> neighbor's cat and Pepper used to come in. Yeah. But since they don't anymore, and yeah. I don't know why. But anyway, so you were you were talking about Spaz Rat and Fat Mouse? <laughs> so I was just going to say that um, we haven't seen Fat Mouse in a while. I haven't seen right. Fat Mouse in a while. And I haven't even seen any evidence of the Fat Mouse. I just assume he's still around because he's been there. You mm -hmm. know? I just probably don't know it. And uh, the other day I went into the garage. This is just like two or three days ago. I went to the garage at like five o'clock in the morning, getting ready to go to work. And um, I, you know, take my gym bag in there and put my coffee in the car and all that business before I, before I leave the house. And um, I went in there and I was in the garage and all of a sudden I hear this huge like ruckus like in the laundry area, like something's happened and something's fallen on the floor and I just stop and because I'm supposed to be home alone, right? You know. Did you collaborate and listen? I did not. Oh, I did not. That's a I, shame. Did, I froze, and mm -hmm. I was like, "What the f, man? What the f?" Mm -hmm. And so, like, you know, I was scared for a second. I was like, "What the shit?" <laughs> and then was um, it what the f? What the or shit? what the shit? It was. It might have been what the f. I don't okay. know. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I kind of have a potty mouth. Mm -hmm. And you weren't home, but that was the morning that you had. Um, loaded some stuff from the garage into your car. I think it just took some water and soda and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But so I just, <coughs> in my head, I just was like, Oh, something shifted because Neil moved something. Mm -hmm. That's how I talked myself through that situation. Put my gym bag in the trunk of the car, went back inside. Then a few minutes later, came back out to the garage to stick my drinks, like my coffee and my vitamin water and stuff like that into the car. And at that point, <laughs> I heard another ruckus in a different part of the garage and I again froze and then I just stood there for a second like again what the f and then all of a sudden this huge rat comes running out stops and stares at me and then runs back in and there's another ruckus and then runs back out stares at me and then runs past me into the laundry area and there's another ruckus and then I don't hear anything and I'm just standing there like frozen like what the shit what yeah. do I do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do right now, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Says the person that claims that whenever there's something that happens and most people get freaked out. Uh, so Frank and Kat said, I got a mental image of the mouse trying to run, but stopping for a breath saying, give me a sec, guys. Then wheezes. And <laughs> right, right. One sec. So here's the truth. I was, I I was like, in fat. there. The mouse is fat. Legit. I was in there <laughs> working on sub, uh, the outdoor speakers and stereo system. And, so he ran out from under my our workbench and he was crossing the garage. And as he's crossing the garage, he's slowing down. Like I said, it didn't startle me. Right. I could have got off the stepladder. <laughs> he's the Eeyore. Walked over ice. there and kicked him. <laughs> but I felt bad. So by the time he got to the wall he was going to, yeah. he wasn't running anymore. He was just like, oh, oh. They got to the wall. And then you know how mice run against the wall to get to hide again? Yeah. Like he was coming towards me, looking at me like, man, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. And I'm like, you're not even running. You're I just like how waddling. you just stand there and stare at him. Like, um, yeah, I felt bad for him. Wow. I'm like. If you could walk a little bit faster. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. like, what? That's yeah. So I just uh, went to work. I just <laughs> yeah. like was like, what okay, am I going to do? So this is happening. But I was just, I mean, I wasn't sure. I was kind of freaked out because like I could tell the rat was freaked out. Like I freaked out the rat and I almost felt bad. I was mm -hmm. just like, it is totally spazzing out and like things are moving in the garage and he's freaking out. And I was just like, Oh shit. Like, I don't know what to do about that. You know? And I also knew that it was way bigger than any fat mouse. Cause I was no, like, was... that mouse is really big. And you're like, no, that's right. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Cause yeah. it was huge. I went out there and he was, he was sitting uh, by the weight bench mm -hmm. and he was just chilling. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. Okay. So what I couldn't understand is how they got in. Right. So I thought maybe when we opened up the garage door, he was outside right. and like came in. I couldn't figure and it out. And we leave the back door open from the garage <clears> into <throat> the backyard. And because you, you're in the garage a lot and the dogs come in and out. And that's totally cool. So I thought so the dog, the, that was another was thought. Open, you know? And then I, and so what was it? Wednesday or Thursday, yeah. I decided I was going to investigate. check, investigate. <laughs> and um, the, the previous owners of this house. So it, it'd be hard to explain, but I'll try. Our water heater 
is in the garage, but to access it, it's actually a, an access door outside the house. Mm -hmm. It's You don't see the water heater in the garage. It's like, pl not plywood, but it's, uh, what do you call it? Um, what's that stuff called? Stucco? No, the... Uh, Drywall. Yeah, it's drywalled. <laughs> and then there's a door outside. Yeah, it's a, weird. I don't. There's a hot water heater closet outside, but it doesn't but stick But it's part out. of the garage. They it's... built it into the garage. Yeah. Anyway. It's a weird thing. So, yeah. and it's, it, it, it's gas. And the previous owners had uh, teed into the gas for the hot water heater to put an outdoor gas grill. And that way they had gas all the time. Uh, it, whatever. But they cut a little hole in the door uh, of the water heater closet right so i went in there and every now and then the water heater closet because it doesn't have like a lock or anything it just stays closed on its own would be open and i always thought it was the wind or one of the dogs decided to right. open or whatever I, yeah i always thought that too because every now and then it was open and i was like oh weird yeah so i decided to go check and i'm like oh look and then i realized that there the corner um one of the corners in the little water heater closet was chewed up by mises and reeds <laughs> <laughs> mouses and routeses, whatever they're Spaz called, shrouses and mousies, <laughs> Spaz rat and fat mouse. <laughs> and so then, and and chewed through both, uh, you know, of the uh, both sides of the drywall. So and that leads to behind the washer and dryer inside the garage. So I went and I looked, and there was little mouse poop and rat poop, and I'm like, that's how they're getting yeah. in and out, and they're taking the food that they find. now. Rewinding back to when we said they used to take the dog treats, then we obviously locked everything down, so there's no right. dog food available. However. Did buy a brand new bag of dog food, and right. within a couple of days, the rat chewed through that. But mm -hmm. um, so I'm like, oh, so blocked up all those holes. Pretty sure the rat is gone because we haven't heard him or seen him. Um, so there's no more spazzing out. No, or staring at us while we work out. Did set a big <laughs> rat trap, and then went to go check it, and all the food was gone from it, but it wasn't set off. So I think How? it was fat mouse. Because fat mouse is legit. That, there was little it's mouse like poops. Ninja fat mouse. There was little mouse poops on. The rat trap, he's such an but he's big and he's too big to be an in shape mouse, but not big enough to set off a rat trap. So he was probably just chilling, like having yeah. a good time. Chin chilling. Yeah. So <laughs> that mouse is smarter than us. So yeah. So found the For issue <laughs> and now pretty sure it's all taken. Today we bought those, the humane, uh, which I, I don't actually think they work. I've had them before in a different house and I thought they worked, but right, they're the, the, the sonic things. Yeah. But it makes me feel better if nothing right. else. We're trying really hard to get rid of the fat mouse and spaz and rats friends. in a humane fashion, <laughs> yeah. but it's probably not going to end up that way. No. I mean, because it, it's a, it, we don't want there to be an issue and they have to go. So, yeah. We'll, we're going to do it again. Yeah. And it, <laughs> what's really funny is Nine, our Doberman, really likes. The rat. Yeah. They like check each other out. Yeah. And that happened the same thing when the the one mouse we had inside before. A long that, time ago. Then, yeah, a long time ago. They would just stare at each other. A mouse came in. A mouse got in. A, a little mouse. A little baby mouse. Yeah. And it was behind one of our, our bookshelves. And it would stick its head out from behind the bookshelf to see if the coast was clear. And then nine would be on the other side of the bookshelf looking at the mouse. They'd both stick their head out at the same time. <laughs> and then they both which, withdraw their head. Exactly. Girl, and she brought me the ball. We're not playing ball out. right now. No, we're not playing ball right now. Not, it's not gonna happen. Ball time. <laughs> oh, hi, girl. Happy pup. That's too funny. Happy give me a kiss. Um, I also oh, want to talk about a um, couple things that we have coming up. I was gonna. We talk about Reno. Um, Reno. Let's we're going talk to, about sex, baby. Uh, Reno next Let's weekend, and sometimes we do a podcast when from location when and we're there. The you can but do to my we're not leaving until Saturday, so we're actually gonna do probably the podcast live next Friday night. Yeah. Before we leave mm -hmm. for Reno, mm -hmm. if we go because zero's butt. Mm -hmm. um, but also in the next couple of weeks, we're actually going to go to, uh, hopefully go to, fingers crossed, to Japantown here in the San Francisco um, with my good friend Ninja. Um, it's been a trip we've been planning for a very, very long time. But it's uh, been one week since the <laughs> Super Ninja is super busy. And so we haven't been able to work that out until. Um, super Ninja did Infinity Wars, right? Uh, yes, she did. Cool. <laughs> just want to make sure because yeah. I've been telling people that Super Ninja did the Super sound Ninja's director. Infinity um, Wars. So um, we're hoping to do that. Probably <laughs> you okay couple, over yeah, there? Just, just got to swallow. Got all verklempt because of <laughs> Super Ninja. I love you, Ninja. Um, so we're probably going to go to into the city in a couple weeks and go to Japan Town, and we're going to do like a little video, mimosas, and have lunch. Um, maybe. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> 
I don't know if we can do Japan. Someone has to drive, man. Me, mimosas, and ninja. We got to. Someone has to drive. Someone has to drive. No Saki? more lychee mimosas. Well, someone's got to drive, okay. like you said, which will probably be me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which is kind of funny because we don't have a car that seats three people. Oh, we'll yeah, have we to, do. We have, we'll have the big one. We have to take it oh, apart. Oh, no. My, mine, mine does. Yeah, but we're not taking that in. When? Why not? Because that's just a, the commute vehicle. That's the whole point of having the other car. Well, yeah, but no, I'll take it's it apart. Just one time. It's Let's just one time. No, no, I'll take it apart. Just today. What? Just today? Yeah, just the one time. No, I'll take it apart. All right. Well, All right. Okay. Don't, don't. Sandy K re re retracted a message. Ooh, I want to know what that said. Said what? you. It's like you guys are dumbasses. No, it talked about zero's butt. Why she are said you at least still? That's okay. That's fine. No, no, no. Way Go down. Ahead. I think I'm. Oh, I I'm ahead know. of you. Oh, I don't know. See where you say that's Neil's job. Okay. Yeah. Under that. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cat was I saying know. that I should have hammer time that. Hammer <laughs> I said, time. no, that's Neil's job. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you can say whatever you want to, Sandy. Bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sandy's like, why don't you people leave me alone? <laughs> podcast isn't even that good. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> what? Anyway, we know. We've yeah, been on it. I know. It's our podcast. We know. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, yeah, I, I'm super excited is all my point is that I haven't been to Japan town in like years. Super want to go. Super looking forward to it. I went there once. Did I ever tell you this? To the Blossom, Cherry Blossom Festival. Oh, it no. Was, it was amazing. I had such a great time. Wow. Had some food. It was beautiful. The whole Cherry Blossom Festival. Love it. And then I got to watch um, in that little quad they have between the two. Um, have the two buildings, you know, and then have the mm -hmm. garden between the two uh, sets of buildings. Yeah, we've been together. I know. I'm just, I'm just trying to. <laughs> I know. I paint the picture. Paint oh, the okay. Picture. Sorry. My bad. And then in the middle, they have the... Um, uh, during the Cherry Blossom Festival, they have like the uh, the samurai and, and uh, martial arts like exhibition. So mm -hmm. it's like all these little kids showing off their martial art expertise. And I love it. It's so cute. I love mm -hmm. it. I sat there and ate and watched the kids do martial arts. It was really cool. Wow. Poor kid. They were probably hungry <laughs> doing martial arts all well, day. Well, then you just walk across the street and they had the whole street blocked off for like the vendors and uh, they had bands and stuff. It was a pretty cool day. But I'm just saying. Looking very good. To it. Looking yeah. very, very forward to it. Little uh, <laughs> Japan town. Yeah. And then um, we're going to go to the Japanese dollar store, basically, which is Daiso. Right. So we hope to get a couple of videos out of that for our vlog. Shouldn't they call it that. like the Japanese yen store? Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what Daiso means in Japanese. We'll have to look that up. Uh, I know what it means. Do you? I don't want to tell you that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Cat, do you know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? So? <laughs> <laughs> you just started laughing and then looked at your computer. What is that about? No, I'm cracking myself up That's sometimes. Great. Oh, Sandy's back. <laughs> she said, no, I said you got, okay, I, I don't know. Well, who are you talking to now? Sandy. Right. She said, I got to drive. She said, she's having fun. Good. I'm having fun. <laughs> Me, you, and Sandy are having a good time. That's all that matters. Sandy, don't type at us and drive at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to drive. I know. She's not driving. I know. Okay. So why are you yelling at Sandy about texting and driving? Poor Sandy. I just thought she's, I thought I read that wrong that she had to drive. I'm going to change the words Neil has of drive. the Iggy Pop song Candy to Sandy. Sandy, <laughs> Sandy, Sandy, I can't let you go. Hey, Kat, can you look up what Dyson means? <laughs> what? Kat's probably not even here. Kat had enough too. Kat's like, Pfft. Kat's here. I know these people. I don't have to um, listen to them. I know. We, I know that we talked about this when, um, just so you guys know, Kat has um, been on our podcast. He's on a previous episode. I can't remember the number right offhand, but I'll think I, of it. Oh. Um, however. I can find um, out. Do you remember that um, Kat recently moved back to Texas and is now back together with his Doberman, Eliza? Really? She is stunning. I did know that. Yeah. And, um, and they're together again, and it's all very beautiful, and he takes beautiful little pictures and posts them on Instagram, and it's a lot of fun for me. Nice. <laughs> all right. I'm going to see if I can. Uh... I think she might be around eight. So she's starting. She's like middle-aged, but. Oh, she's, wow. She's a beautiful lady. Cool. Uh, you keep talking. I'm trying oh, okay. to find. Nope. That's with Ninja. <laughs> Ninja's been on our uh, podcast a couple times. I remember the boob glass episode, which I think is episode 12. 113 with Miranda and Kat. Yes, there you go, 113. Yeah, go back and listen to Dark Angels Perfect 113 or watch it. <laughs> if you guys into that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are into YouTube. I'm not <laughs> turning my funny. back on you. I just, I have my no, mom's right. old, whatever, whatever you call it. <laughs>
All right. I'm kind of going through my list. Um, until we talk about oh God. our um, favorite five. <laughs> and on. before I, I forget, and I've been talking about Ninja a lot today, but um, she's a really good friend of mine. And I was texting her earlier. And our favorite five this week is um, a suggestion from Ninja, in fact. so Wow. There you go. A Ninja suggestion. A Ninja suggestion. She gives us a lot of favorite fives, actually. But um, I don't know if we said this at the beginning for those of you on the YouTube feed. Um, we only record for about an hour every week. That's kind of our goal to have about an hour-long podcast. Where are you going, Sunshine? Get another beer. What is going on around here? Uh, Neil left. It's just me and you guys. How you guys all doing? What's going on? Anyways, we have about 20 minutes left to our podcast. And now we're probably going to get into our favorite five. So there you go. <laughs> to the YouTube audience. Everybody else knows. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. So you guys got to watch the YouTube videos. That, you, you know what? That hardly came in. I could see your beer dancing in that. Well, <laughs> then it's a win-win. There was a lot more shaking. Uh, there was a moment, oh, I would say Sandy. jiggling at this time. <laughs> no, Sandy, you didn't do anything. I think that I misread your message. That's what I was trying to say. Annalise thought you were driving and texting. And I was like, Sandy, don't drive and message us at the same time. <laughs> One thing that you need to know about Annalise, as amazing and lovely as she is, uh -oh. details are not necessarily something that she needs to be bothered with. Also, I wear glasses, so I don't always get all the words right. You don't need glasses. I need glasses said, to read that. Said your No, he said I need reading glasses. Wow. <laughs> He's looking in the wrong place. Maybe that's why he doesn't know I need glasses. <laughs> You're like, why are you looking at my face? Eyes up here, buddy. Yeah. Eyes up here. No, eyes down there. <laughs> eyes down there, buddy. You keep oh, wait, looking what, at me. But Brian, what? Working on uh, wiring closet on Lisa. What? What? <laughs> I can't read. Tell it me says what says working Brian on said. a wiring closet on Elise. Like that is a surprise. Oh. <laughs> See, details. Details, not... Brian. Details. Brian, no, I meant, Brian, oh my God, you're so funny. No, I meant details aren't important exactly, to you. Exactly, exactly. And I was going to say that um, <laughs> Brian's always at work on the weekends. So he's probably wiring a closet right now. Oh, that's that's too funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, are we doing our favorite mm -hmm. five? All right. Cool. All right. So this is from, you explained so, it from yes, Ninja. I, I explained that. Uh, that. You, it clipped, was you clipped out with your clap. Sorry about that. Um, Everybody's now throwing their headphones off. Oh, sorry. Crashed sorry. their cars. Just bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down one time. Okay, so our favorite five this week. No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> our favorite five this week is um, things we like fresh. Five things we like fresh. <laughs> and I have to say, as soon as I read that, I was like, gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to go first or last? Um, I'm going to go first, I think. All right. Fair enough. And my list is very eclectic because I wasn't sure how to take this list. Sure. Mine is eclectic too. <laughs> um, so my fifth favorite thing I like fresh mm -hmm. is soda. Oh, okay. Like, like I, cola. Like not necessarily Coke. from the factory, but as soon as it's open, you want to drink. You don't want it to right. sit it for a while. It needs to be cold and it needs to be fresh. I gotcha. don't want it like the next day. I don't want it warm. I don't want it because it's been sitting in your car. I don't want it full of ice and watered down. I want it freshy fresh. Otherwise, I don't want it at all. Speaking of cars, I got in yours today to move it mm -hmm. before the fiasco that was the brake bleed. Mm -hmm. And there was a a cup mm -hmm. full of sunflower seed particles, which I threw away. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's like a few days old. I yeah. threw it away before. Sorry. Sun, sunflower seed mm -hmm. husks. Then there was an empty cup, which I left in oh, there. Oh, that was clean. Yeah. Yeah, I left okay. in there. Yeah. And then there was an open monster. Uh -huh. It was like you had a whole picnic by yourself. Yeah. That's Your car why... is, it, it looks like what somebody's airplane, first class airplane seat <laughs> looks like after a transatlantic trip. I'm like, I spend a lot of time. It makes me worry. It makes me worry because I'm like, you should be focused on and the I am. people in front of you. No, there's that, notes. You have notes and pens. Oh yeah, no, that, down. I don't take that. Like, I don't take notes in the car. I don't know. <laughs> I just try to remember. Like, I get in the car and I have like that notepad, right? That that you saw on the seat with like the notes and the pen. Yeah. That actually was in my backpack. But since I took out some stuff from my backpack, I just put that stuff on the seat. Nice. I like so. I like to uh, vary into washing cars and detailing cars. Mm -hmm. And Annalise is the only car that I've ever washed that I've had a wipe 
coffee <laughs> off the overhead lights. Sometimes there's a coffee situation. I don't know what happens. I, you know, sometimes things happen in the car <laughs> and you need coffee and the coffee oh. needs to be drunken, drinken, drunk, Slurped. in the car. Uh, What's the proper term there? I don't know. It's drunkenimation. <laughs> Drunk session. I yeah. don't know. But, and the monster, I actually put in my cup before I even leave the house. I just leave the open one in there. Yeah. I don't know why. It's probably just sure. stay in the fridge in the house, but. There's like 16 different things to put on your lips in yes. there. I'm all about the chapstick and the lip gloss and the. Oh, we had a whole it's chapstick it's, it's thing today. Dry. It's very dry. We, a whole we did. We spent chapstick. like 10 minutes trying to pick out chapstick. I got, today. I got <laughs> locked up by the chapstick. Once I needed more chapstick, we were in Target this morning because, of course, we had to get our coffee. And then there was the whole end cap that had all these chapsticks, and it locked me up. Like, I couldn't yeah. freaking comprehend what was going on. <laughs> do you, what kind of chapstick? What brand do you want? What flavor uh, do you want? Do you even want a flavor? My brain can't handle that do you anymore. you want SPF? I don't know. I need Are you going SPF. outside? Yeah. yeah. You do. You, you need all the SPF. My number five. Outside. Yes, please. My fifth favorite thing that I like fresh, mm -hmm. vagina. I like it to be clean and fresh. That's only number five? I thought it'd be like number one. No, because the other things I deal with a lot more than, I mean, it's not like, you know, <laughs> vaginas on special occasions and stuff. It's not, <laughs> it's not like I go to work and have vagina. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Okay. No, no, no. It's not you. <laughs> I'm just saying. Special occasion vagina. <laughs> well, well, you'll, it's like uh, the vagina thing is only with you. It's like the other things are with other people. So it can happen more often. <laughs> like us, like the soda. Like the soda, you might have at work. You can have soda whenever you want. That's what I'm saying. Whether I'm home or not. <laughs> right. Vagina isn't that way. It's only going to happen when you're here. <laughs> so you're going to have a lot more fresh soda than you are going to have fresh vagina. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Well, I, and now that I just feel bad now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But it's so you don't that it, you don't get more. What are you gonna travel like around with me? It, like I'm like, oh, I'm in the mood for fresh vagina. You're like, well, here I am. <laughs> pull over. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm too busy texting Sandy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, not about the vagina, just because of the. Yeah, I. The, yeah, yeah, never mind. Sorry, Sandy. <laughs> okay, so my number four. Yeah. Let's just move on. Yeah. Is uh, vagina. fresh air. No. Fresh air. Yeah, fresh air. Like at home. That's like, a good one. I you know, like how, like, after it's rained, like going outside, Wait a minute, what do you mean it's at all home? fresh. Let me finish my story. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, not in traffic, like, you, or right. an airplane. No, just, yeah. Hate airplane air. Oh, it's the grossest. Anyway, <laughs> um, so like at you know like out after a fresh rain or something like that it smells mm -hmm. nice and fresh. Air smells good. And at home we freshen the air because we have a lot of pets and things like that. Um, and we, butts. There and pet butts. <laughs> oh, I meant your butt. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> <Stop> no. <it. laughs> um, we have like the new. I guess um, butts should be on my list like, too. Candles that freshen the air and scent the air. And now we have the new uh, oil diffusers, which I love. And um, our current scent here in the house is rosemary. So Adrian said, uh, I had my headphones in editing and heard Neil's vagina story and I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adrian. And you're welcome. <laughs> Kat said, Neil needs to clean my car after a work week. Ha ha. Well, then it's funny because after reading Adrian's and reading that, I was like, I'm, yeah. Clean. Is there a lot of coffee in your car? <laughs> yeah. Um, so do you want my my number uh four? Yeah. Uh, my number four is bread. Fresh, Fresh bread. bread. Okay. Baked bread. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So what's funny is when I got to um when I did soda, I was first thinking for like fresh food. I a, and I was like, food is too vast. I have to pick something from that. Yeah, I was going to do fruits yeah. and vegetables. And I'm like, that's too big. Too, so I got rid of those. Because yeah. everybody wants fresh. No one goes like, oh, I like I want mine. really old veggies. Although <laughs> like bananas don't like them fresh. I like them I when like they them fresh. sit a while. I actually while. prefer them almost green. Yeah, but that's so they, Then they're all chalky. They taste better in a shake that way though. Ugh. <laughs> they don't taste better on a vagina that way. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. What's your favorite bread? We talked about this before, though. What do you mean? Ever? I think we had. Didn't we have a favorite breads? I think we had like how to have how breads. To have it bread. was a carb thing. Yeah. Definitely carb heavy. Yeah. Uh, my favorite bread we miss carbs. is fresh. I, we've talked talk about this. About fresh lot. French bread with fish food ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All What's right. wrong with um, that? Nothing's meat free. Right. Hmm. Yeah, carb free, sugar free. <laughs> Gross. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm on a low carb, low sugar diet. I need a pint of fish food and some fresh French bread. Please. Yes, please just drop that off. Um, my number three is yes. fresh breath. Mine or yours, everybody's. Fresh nice, breath. nice. All the time. I will. I will tell you what that that is actually my number one. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you deal with I deal with that a lot, much more than I deal with daily vagina. <laughs> I just I I would have assumed that number vagina would have been number one for you. Vagina's and my favorite. Breath would but have been like not, number two. I don't have to worry. See, I have to worry about other people's breath. I don't have to worry about your vagina. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I think. Yes. Um, yeah. So fresh breath, mine okay. or yours, interaction has to be fresh. Uh what are we on? My number. Oh, oh my goodness. Shit. That's all right. You guys can't hear that, but I think that the music just started. Yeah. The outro. Anyway. Okay. So uh, my number two. Two. Is, I know three. me. Oh, is it you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I did I did vagina and bread. Right. The What's next one, uh, beer. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what? Vagina, bread, and beer. Sounds like, like it's going to be a good night. <laughs> I was just thinking, if you didn't say what the title of the list was, mm -hmm. those three things, what would that mean to you? <laughs> right. Right. Okay. So fresh beer, like like the actual like brew, because, you know, beer does right. stale in, in the glass mm -hmm. or can. So I like yeah, my beer fresh. Lagunitas is one of the only companies that puts an expiration date no. on beer. No, Stone. Stone, oh, Stone, Stone so yeah. So yeah. yeah and like, what's really funny there is there is no expiration date on this, but like. There actually is on the 12-pack. Really? Yeah. Uh, or it has a born on dating or something like that. I had to but, look at that. Um, <laughs> like Stone's beer, you know, when we buy the 12-pack, uh -huh. I think it's only good for like. Six months or something? Two or three weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. We've been in, we've been in the store we go to all the time. Yeah. And I've been wanting to buy it and it's been out Has of. Has its date? Oh yeah. By not a long time, but yeah, they're they don't mess around. Mm. Speaking of which, uh the Stone Brewing is supposed to open here, I think, next month. Yep. They keep promising. That's what and they said they a year ago. It back. Yeah. <laughs> so what's your it's desperate time? So we did so no, your number two? <laughs> My number two yeah. is um I, it was it's kind of like food, but I did narrow it down. Mm -hmm. uh, it's laundry, but specifically sheets. Mm-hmm. Fresh sheets love it love it love it it's our just, sheets get nasty quick because the, the dogs sleep in the bed yeah so we have to wash them a lot but um whenever we wash them that night is my favorite night yeah <laughs> everything smells fresh everything smells clean i don't have to like check the um bed for any plant debris mm -hmm. or mud <laughs> it's always nice <laughs> yeah <laughs> there shouldn't be any plant debris or food or snacks in your bed well food and snacks i can understand dog food right though, not true. our snacks <laughs> Uh, my number two, number two donuts, fresh donuts right out of the fryer. Just like put them in my gullet. Henceforth, yeah. my Pelican. <laughs> Everybody loves a fresh donut. Everybody loves a Sandy, Pelican. Sandy has a question for you. Oh yeah. What's up with that? What's a question? <laughs> she said, fresh. um, so we're doing a, you know, what we prefer fresh on mm -hmm. our list. And yes, yeah, Sandy, I guess. Vagina. Is Hoochie a vagina? A vagina? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't That's know what a ho Hoochie is. Really? I always You've heard like heard that term? I've heard hoochie mama, but I always thought that was like a uh, hey hoochie mama, like hey how you doing, girl? Well, I think I've heard coochie. Yeah, I've heard that. Right, but I've heard cooter, which I always Whoa. felt bad for the guy on um, <laughs> the Dukes of Hazard. Right, right. Because hmm. I like it was around the same age because I think my cousins used it, mm -hmm. my cousins who are girls, um, and so it was like there was you know Enos and there was Bo and Luke and there was Uncle Jesse and there was Daisy and there was Cooter no problem and then they said mm. and I'm like that's why they call him Cooter <laughs> like how you say they said and there's this dot 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 yeah. like you're not gonna say it <laughs> and then it's too late for that you've already done and said it <laughs> and, and yeah and then I was like and it's gross because Cooter's always the dirty one so why did they call him Cooter <laughs> yeah but that can be a I turtle too oh, Hoochie can be a turtle. Or a cooter can be a turtle. Oh, maybe. A cooter, a red eared know. slider? I have a no Chinese idea. Reeves turtle? <laughs> they used to have turtles. Um, I, I guess I had hoochies too. Oh, wow. I don't know. And a cooter. Know. What was your number two? Cooter. <laughs> no. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> Donuts, right. French I forgot. Hostel. After that conversation, I forgot what were your number two. Although, was. one more time, I will say if you have some stale donuts, Nell's going to tell you what to do with your stale donuts. Take. You take a pan, a frying pan. Put, Be prepared to loosen your pants. <laughs> put a bunch of butter in it. Take your stale donut, mm -hmm. fry it up in that mm -hmm. butter, flip it over a few times, mm -hmm. and then eat it. And that you won't know that is dirty. Mm. That's inappropriate. Okay. I think we all know what your number one is. Yeah. 
which is breath. My number one. <laughs> I used to smoke Virgi Sandy K. I used to smoke Virginia Slims. My husband would go into the store and ask for vagina slimes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Pretty strong. <laughs> Just to see the reaction. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was good. Sandy, you gonna be here next week? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here all the time. Um Kat was also saying that Eliza is eight. She's a yes. old lady now. Yeah. I, I send pictures, Kat. I have always I have ready for more pictures. The feels when you know Dobies know. get old. She's so. beautiful. Um, so my number one is a fresh Neil. Fresh my Neil thing is the fresh Neil. Oh, uh, that doesn't happen very often. It does happen all the time. You you are a very good smelling man. Well, you are a very clean person, and you always smell nice, even when you haven't freshly washed. But <laughs> freshly washed. You just you just one of those kind of people that. Um, you take care of yourself, and I appreciate that. And I have mentioned this to you in mm -hmm. the past because I am not always around that all the time. 100%. Around me? Around you or fresh oh, people. Oh, fresh people. And um, fresh people. it makes me really, really appreciate how clean and fresh you are. I think that's a good way to go. And like, if, if you go by someone intimate together, yes. <laughs> It makes me appreciate that so much more. Well, thank you. I think that's what <laughs> how you should handle people that maybe don't don't smell their best is you should go and say, "I think you're past your expiration date." <laughs> I'm. Did you have salami for lunch? You should. Oh like, no! Oh, you didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Hey, buddy, it's time anyway. to rotate the stock. Yeah, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I just. Well, okay. Well, we know my number one <laughs> breath. Yeah. So. Because you know you encounter that a lot. Yeah, you do for sure. And not everyone has fresh breath all the time, and but it can be taken care of. people don't, um, you know, respect boundaries and personal space, and they're a little too close. Mm -hmm. So it'd be nice if everything was fresh. That's all I'm saying. Just keep your keep your fresh up. <laughs> keep keep it all fresh. Keep it tidy, people. Oh, that's too keep funny. It tidy. <laughs> that's too funny. Sandy's gonna be back. <laughs> cool. Well, let's uh, let's finish the podcast, and then we can stay live for a little while and just chat if people want to chat. Oh, the, sure. Since we haven't chatted. Really? I know. That way we can actually talk to you guys a little bit. Yeah. But um, yeah. Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, well, thank you, everybody. We want to pimp our shit. Yeah. Uh, go to uh, darkangelsprettyfeeks.com if you want to. Also, uh, very much would appreciate it if you went to youtube.com forward slash halos and heathens and subscribed and checked out some videos. If you don't want to, that's totally cool. What's wrong? I got a weird little static thing in my left ear. Keep talking. Keep, All right. Keep talking. I, I can't know. hear myself anymore. Yeah. Wait. Hello? We'll come back. Okay. Just, let's just finish this out. Yeah. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, I, well, now I'm all I'm flabbergasted. Super sorry. All right. Bye, also, everybody. Oh, okay. Oh, go, no, go ahead. No, no. I was going to tell them to check out your other podcast, Reasons for Several. Sure. Do that too. Reasonsforseveral.com. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. So, okay, we're done. Talk to me. No, Hello? No, talk to me. Can you hear me? No, I can hear myself now. Yeah. I think I, I did something weird, though. It, well, those are cheap ass headphones. Yeah, cheap ass headphones. Look at this. Look, I can like, move my little cord in and out of my. I can move my little cord in and out too. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> All right. So thank you everybody for hanging out with us for a thank while. Uh, if uh, there's anybody in the chat room, I know there's not a ton of people here, but if I there's anybody here that has any questions, we'd uh, be more than happy to. Cat, you answer. still here? Adrian, Colleen? No, Hello. you're just calling out people. Oh my God. Did I ever tell you about that time? I was, uh, I did a, a an, interview <laughs> on a pirate radio station and it was on a boat. And so for the, for the band. No. Yeah, so we were out on the water. Uh, no, it was docked. I'm sorry, it was docked. Well, it was on the water, but we were docked in Sausalito. Just so you guys know, Neil used to be in a glam band. And <laughs> um, so this guy contacted us. And we had a big show coming up, like an AIDS benefit concert. It was, mm -hmm. you know, been like 5,000 people. It was going to be a big deal. And said, oh, we'd like to have you on the radio. And da, da, da. we're like, yeah, all right. And he's like, here's, you know, da, da, da. We knew it was pirate radio, but we thought that's cool. So we show up this guy's boat. He's got all this radio equipment, and we're like getting all set to freaking go on. <laughs> and uh, he's like, "All right, let's take some calls," you know. And we're like, "Whoa, this is legit." Nothing, no phone ring, nothing. And uh, he, <laughs> and so he starts going. So is is anybody out there? Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, um, Clara, you guys listening? And I'm like, and then you realize this guy doesn't have this an guy audience. doesn't have an audience. <laughs> so when you were doing that, you're like, "Yeah, do we have anybody there?" So. Adrian just chimed in. Hi. All right. So there we go. <laughs> that was funny. You guys just heard um, After Dark, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks story. <laughs> After Dark. This is where it gets real. That only the people on the YouTube channel are going to hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> so uh, one time Neil was in a band on a boat. <laughs> one time I was at band camp. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. You're awesome, too. Thank you. We're just ridiculous. <laughs>
That's funny. So, all right. Um, yeah, Anything we're going to go saying? and we're going to, um, what are we going to do? I'm going to make some meatless food. Yeah. Because Neil's gone vegetarian. I'm going from pelican to seagull. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Brian. Brian. Yeah, it still, is. Still Tanner. Although Tanner, I'm getting kind of tamer. Uh, tamer. Is it tamer? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, dear Lord. I need bigger glasses. That's right. Still tanner. We're darker. <laughs> it's true, though, because well, Matt's darker. really white. <laughs> Matt's, Matt's pretty white. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, we should have been recording this. Matt That's was like finance, that. guys. <laughs> still, still tanner. Thanks. Thanks, Brian. We are tanner. Oh, no, it's tamer. Oh, well. Yeah, well, that's because Matt's Matt that's on Reasons Are. He's freaking... <laughs> He's always doing something gross or not taking care of his dad. One of the two. He's busy not taking care of his dad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Yes. So we are going to go and we're going to make dinner. And we'll be back on Friday night if you guys uh -huh. want to join. For sure. Thank you, everybody who watched this because uh, I keep forgetting that it's going to be up as a video. Yeah, for sure. So but thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching and chiming in, being in the chat. Thank you. Subscribe, like. <laughs> All that. Send all us that stuff. Uh, fresh and vaginas. No, don't send us that. Don't <laughs> right. don't send us that. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>